Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's grocery haul video is gonna be a little bit different than the ones that I normally post. Typically, I will share with you like a Costco haul and I'll publish that video and then I'll do a weekly uh, grocery pickup from Walmart and I'll publish that video. But the way the like days landed this week, I'm actually going to Costco and Walmart today. So I figured I would just do like one big uh, grocery haul. I also went to Aldi yesterday because they have, they've been having like a lot of really good sales lately. I typically don't shop at Aldi just because their prices are pretty much exactly the same as um, Walmart. But I've been trying to incorporate Aldi into my uh, grocery shopping just because, you know, obviously if I can save money shopping there as well, I'm going to. And uh, I'm also gonna share with you just a really brief uh, tour, just very quick, of our pantry, freezer, and fridge. We've been really good lately with eating out of the pantry and really practicing zero food waste. So the, everything's kind of bare, so I definitely need to go to the store today and pick up some stuff. But I'm gonna take off, so I'll see you guys at Costco. Okay, so I'm back from Costco and Walmart and here's everything I got at Costco. But before I show you this haul, let me insert a clip of everything I picked up at Aldi yesterday. Okay, starting with Aldi, here's everything I picked up. I got some eggs, their eggs are super cheap, so I picked up uh, two dozen. I also picked up some avocados. These were on sale this week for 25 cents a piece, which is an awesome price. I don't think I've ever seen them that cheap. The babies love avocados and we have a few, uh, few meals this week where uh, I would like to have some. Also picked up some grapes. Those were a pretty good price, about a dollar uh, cheaper per pound than Walmart. And then also some celery, this was on sale, and this is a whole bunch, I think this was like 69, 79 cents, something like that. So a whole bunch of celery. I love these cinnamon rolls. I tried them last week. One of you guys recommended to try the crescent rolls and the cinnamon rolls. I was actually really surprised by these. Um, super good, they're only 99 cents a can. So when I saw them, I was like, yep, I gotta pick up some more. I typically don't buy cinnamon rolls unless it's like a special occasion like Christmas or something like that, but these were just so good. So I went ahead and picked up some of those. I love this coffee creamer. I tried it last time. It's the same price as the great value uh, from Walmart, but it just was really, really good. I wanna say it might be just a little bit better than Walmart's brand, but regardless, I just went ahead and picked up another one. Pretzels, uh, these were super cheap, and I figured it would be nice to just have some of these on hand, uh, maybe send them with Connor to school. And I also got a bunch of chips. So I know this looks like a lot. We don't intend on eating all of these up this week. These are just on sale right now. They're like a dollar per bag, which is really cheap. Uh, Walmart, theirs are typically like a dollar 38. These are typically like a dollar 37 at, at Aldi, and like the Lay's brand are like, I don't know, like between two to three dollars a bag. So with these only being a dollar, I figured it was a really good stock up price. So I'm just gonna put these at the top shelf in our pantry and uh, we'll probably eat them up in the next like two to three weeks, I would think. I just get these sometimes for sides with like sandwiches or if there's certain dinners like sloppy joes or something like that where you wanna have some chips on the side or Philly cheesesteak sliders. Um, it's always good to have some chips. And again, they're on sale, so I went ahead and stocked up. That's everything I picked up at Aldi, and I'll show you uh, Costco and then Walmart. Okay, now back to Costco. So I got a lot of stuff today. I definitely stocked up. I'm hoping to not have to go back to Costco for a few weeks at least. So starting off over here, we got some tortillas um, or tortilla chips. We love these chips. They're just super light and crunchy and just the right amount of salt. They're just super good. So got some of those. And to uh, make these last, after we open up the bag, I'll pour them into two uh, gallon size ga uh, like freezer bags and keep those in the pantry and it keeps them fresh um, you know, until we eat them all. And then also I got Connor some goldfish. The poor kid has been without goldfish for like two weeks. So he's lost like a pound or two, I swear. So I got some more goldfish for him. Also got Matt some of these bagels. He loves these bagels. And what I do to keep these fresh is I will freeze these. But before I freeze them, I'll take out each bagel. I'll cut them in half and I'll put them all back in these bags and just put them in the freezer. So whenever he's ready to have one, he'll just take one out. They come apart easily because they're already cut in half and he'll pop them in the toaster. And the toaster thaws them out and toasts them at the same time and they come out perfect. So, um, and they obviously won't go stale or anything because they've been in the freezer like since day one. 
Also got the babies some Pirates booty and Connor and everybody, we like this. The babies actually were fighting over this whenever it was in the car. I was having to put it on the other side because they were trying to rip into it. Um, also got some flour tortillas. We have been really loving having um, taco salads, so you need uh, some tortillas for that because Matt will put them in the oven and bake it into like a tortilla, like a shell. And uh, these are also really good for like chicken strip wraps and like breakfast tacos and things like that, quesadilla. So I got a whole bunch. I'll put them in the freezer and we'll just take them out as we need them. Also got some bread just for sandwiches and toast and things like that. Also got a box of the Sony Field Organic Kids yogurt tubes. Uh, Connor has a yogurt every morning for breakfast and so these were on sale and he really likes this brand. So picked up a box of those. Also got some of these cookies. I'll actually put these at the bottom of my pantry. I have a big um, like plastic tote that I kind of dump all of the lunch stuff in and like diaper bag like snacks and stuff So that will live down there also got the baby some more of these organic applesauce pouches Those are great for my diaper bag. I got a rotisserie chicken I'll strip this down and use it for like chicken salad or chicken quesadillas or any kind of you know recipe that has shredded chicken in it works really well also got some bacon. We tried this last time we went to Costco and everyone really liked it. Super thick, good quality, really like that. I uh, got some more butter because it's kind of a staple, especially the Kerrygold, it's so good. Also got some muffins, so I'll freeze these as well. I'll take um, two of the chocolate and then two of the blueberry and I'll put them in, I have a cake stand that just lives on top of the table and then I'll put the rest of them in our deep freezer and just as I need muffins, I will go out to the freezer, grab them and they thaw out like in an hour on the countertop and these are super good, so really like those. Also got some of these fruit by the foot. These were on sale this month and this is just a perfect little lunchbox um, treat. So I grabbed some of those. Also got some more of these Austin cookies and crackers. I got a box of these probably like a few Costco trips ago and they're a real big hit. They're great for Connor's lunches and snacks for the diaper bag. We just kind of went through them quick. So grabbed another box when I saw them. Also got some batteries. So typically I skip out on getting batteries from Costco just because I'm being cheap and I don't want to spend the money. But then I always regret it because we always run out of batteries because I only buy them like in the four or six pack from Walmart. And so I figured might as well make the investment and get um, a big package of them. So hopefully those will last a while. Also got some more romaine lettuce, great for salads, uh, like um, uh, wraps, sandwiches, stuff like that. Um, also got some baked potatoes. I plan on having baked potatoes on our meal plan for the next few weeks, as well as making freezer mashed potatoes because I'm totally out. And then I also got the babies some more of their apple sauce or apple juice. Um, this is the brand that we get them. I'll usually get them for containers and Connor drinks it as well. So he really likes that. Also got a whole bunch of ground beef. So I really love the lean ground beef. It's 91% lean and 9% fat. It comes in five one pound blocks and very cheap, very good quality. Love that ground beef. So I'm gonna stock that up in the freezer. Also got two bags of these Panko chicken nuggets. These are on sale this month. I typically will stock up whenever they have them on sale because uh, these are great in salads. The babies love them, Connor loves them. It's just with three kids, it's kind of a good idea to have a whole bunch of chicken nuggets on hand. And then also some drumsticks uh, just for sides for dinner. So it's everything I got at Costco. So let me put everything up and I will share with you what I got at Walmart. Okay, now here's everything I got at Walmart. I used the Walmart grocery pickup and there's only one substitution. Oh, here it is. It was the um, salsa con queso. I ordered the great value brand, but they're out. So they substituted on the border brand, which is awesome because that's really good uh, queso. But starting off over here, I got two gallons of milk. They finally lowered their price to $1.99. Um, Aldi and Costco have had their milk um, at that price for several weeks. And so I've been buying it elsewhere. But since they lowered it, I went ahead and ordered it through the pickup. Also got some bananas. We will definitely go through those uh, this week. Also some more carrots, great for uh, snacks and salads. And then three limes, that is for some pico de gallo as well as cilantro lime rice for burrito bowls. Um, got some spinach, I use that for salads. Two cucumbers, I use that for salads and snacking. Um, some tomatoes, that is for the pico de gallo as well as the red onion. Also got some more apples, I think we have like two left. And then also got some blueberries, these were a really good price this week as well as the strawberries. I got some sour cream that is for the taco salad, uh, 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 what is it called? Baked potatoes and the burrito bowl. So we definitely needed some sour cream for that. 
Also got some more rice that is for the um, burrito bowls. I got a loaf of French bread. I'm gonna make some uh, chicken salad sandwiches for lunch sometime this week. Got some tater tots that's gonna be on the side for some chicken burgers. I also got the babies some more diapers. We really like the Parents' Choice. It's just a Walmart brand. A lot of you guys ask what my opinion is on this brand. I love it. It's really uh, affordable and they work. So if you like are using another name brand that's a little bit more expensive, you wanna try to save some money, I highly recommend trying their brand. Also got some Monterey Jack cheese that is for the burrito bowls and then some sharp cheddar cheese or extra sharp cheddar cheese that is for the baked potatoes as well as uh, I think that's it, maybe something else. I'm not sure, but we needed some cheese. Also got some oatmeal. The babies love oatmeal. So I decided to get two boxes because I eat oatmeal every morning and while well, I have been, I've been trying to be better about eating breakfast. I'm really bad about it normally, but I have been eating oatmeal. So I've got some more for myself and every time I make them um, or make a, a bowl, the babies want some as well. So we definitely went through, um, I got a box like a week or so ago. We went through that pretty quick. Also got some more yogurt, just some blueberry yogurt, and then I got the babies, their Sony Field Organic Yogurt, the uh, apple and blueberry, which they love. Also got some spaghetti sauce, just a great value brand. This stuff is really good and it's really cheap, so if you haven't tried it yet, again, great value for the win. Um, also got some pinto beans as for the burrito bowls. I'm gonna try the crescent rolls from Great Value again because it's been a while since I tried them and I just wanna give it another shot just to see if they're any better than the Pillsbury um, just because they're so much cheaper. So I got another one. I tried some from Aldi uh, yesterday actually and they were pretty good. Uh, pretty much the same quality as the Pillsbury kind. So um, again, I'm gonna give Great Value another try. Uh, again, the Kim Queso, we just use that for the taco salad. Is that everything? Uh, cilantro for the, uh, maybe I already said that. If not, cilantro for the cilantro lime rice. And I guess that's everything. Again, I didn't get a ton of stuff from Walmart, but I'm just gonna show you a real quick glance, just an overview of our freezer, our pantry, and our refrigerator. Uh, we are pretty bare. We have like really been eating out of the pantry this week and last week, so definitely need to stock up, but I'm gonna show you a before and an after of that. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.